What's going on guys, Gunstar back again on another MLB The Show 19 Diamond Dynasty video. Here we have a highly requested one. Recently, I did pick up Honus Wagner. I finally completed the collections and I did it quite cheaply and that is what we're going to be talking about today. Quickly, if you guys could leave a like down below on this video, definitely helps me out a ton as a creator as well. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure hit the subscribe button, never miss a video that I upload to my channel, but talking about Honus Honus Wagner. Now, you guys saw the title. You're going to be able to do this right around 100,000 stubs. Um, that's about how much I had to pay for it. So, of course, my stubs are a little imbalanced right now, but I'm going to put a screenshot up on the screen. Now, this was taken right after I completed the New York Yankees uh, all-time team. So, I had 689,000 stubs. And right after that, I decided to go after the Honus Wagner collection. And now I'm going to show you a few more screenshots right here, uh, basically displaying how much I had right before I went ahead and did this Toronto Blue Jays one. Um, so, of course, the 404000 I have now is after I have everything bought for that. But right before I started construction, I had 583000 meaning it cost me about 106000 And that's not even including, of course, I was doing the raise one as well. Um, so, honestly, it was probably a little less than 100,000 stubs, but let's just call it 100,000 to be a nice uh, nice round number. So um, pretty much once uh, the situation I was in is I had about half of all of the different uh, collections. So about halfway through, uh, you know, the rookie cards I needed, halfway through the breakout, the all-star, uh, the veteran, uh, the hardware cards, the postseason, and then of course the signature cards. So uh, say I was roughly about like 30 signatures and pretty much half of all these other collections that cost me a hundred thousand stubs to do now what i would recommend first of all team affinities are big and what i did with team affinities is basically first of all i had pretty much every card of the game you know all of like the live series cards except for like the diamonds of course i had all of those and i just exchanged them so now if you were to look at my binder it's definitely ravaged you know i have a lot less cards in here than i did previously um so i kind of just repurposed those and you're going to notice that trend a lot throughout this video um so if you have those cards i recommend to do it you know unless you're doing something where you need silver cards which i doubt you're probably having diamond players on your team there's really no purpose even if you're talking about events at this point they all have diamond requirements so um, I do really recommend that you guys do that and start you know just exchanging these into team affinities always keep in mind and look at what type of flashback card it is so I would say um, you know what is a perfect example can I think of one for the Rangers um, if I need a breakout cards you know I would get to 25% and of course, I'm doing the exchanges right here. Uh, you know, if I needed to get to 25 uh, program stars, I would get the exchange for 10 and the exchange for 15. Um, of course, the formula to get the 50 to get the diamond card right here is to do all the exchanges to equal up to 45. And then you uh, put your team entirely full of players of that team. And it's going to take you three full nine inning games. And then you are going to get the other five program stars and you're going to get the diamond player right there. Um, so. So it is pretty simple, pretty easy if you don't have the luxury of having a ton of silvers, bronzes, and other cards to exchange. Uh, what I do recommend is using bronzes. Of course, this is a video, very popular video I made towards the beginning of the year. What I would recommend is around 74 overall bronze cards to do the exchanges with. Of course, you're going to put in buy orders. Usually for a card like this, you'd put a buy order in for 35 to 40 stubs. It's going to sell hopefully relatively quickly. I, of course, didn't really do this, but in the past it did work, um, but I'm not too sure now with... Uh presumably less people on the game but that should be uh really the most effective if you want to go a little bit quicker then go with golds uh pretty much all live series golds go around for a hundred uh for 1000 stubs if you put in a buy order so 
that is a little bit easier and quicker way to do it but if you're looking for the most bang out of your buck definitely go ahead and do bronzes right there um so yeah just keep an eye which ones you need and then do those team affinities once you start to narrow these down um you're going to have a little better position and a little better understanding of where you want to be of course talking about signature cards this is pretty obvious uh signature teams is something you're really going to want to do these do take a good amount of time but I think, you know, there's some good cards in here. I think the Wade Davis is a good... Uh, great guy for most people's bullpens. Uh, I haven't used the Gidry or the Aegon, but the Vlad, of course, is going to be really good as well. And that's going to be uh, two, four, six, seven free signature cards that you're going to be able to get from there. Uh, the storylines, I would really only recommend doing like Willie Mays and Ken honestly, really just Ken Griffey Jr. This is pretty easy. Like the Babe Ruth, like. This one in particular, postseason cards are hard to come by, but all these moments to complete, you see some of these are like three inning mo or three game moments, an eight game moment right here. I just don't know if I'd really recommend going through all of that just for one postseason card. I will talk about postseason cards specifically in a second. Sony partners are must haves. If you have not done these, these are such easy flashback cards and signature cards that you're going to get. Make sure to do all of these because because this is really going to help you out with your collection. I did Moments Extreme. If you need help with that, I have a video up at the top right hand corner if you guys want to check that out. I didn't have too much trouble, but this is another two signature cards that you're going to get for free. Otherwise, that's really what you're going to see through the moments that you're going to be able to get them. I should also note on the wild card, you do have a good amount of rookie cards that you're going to be able to get, and these are for free. I didn't do these just because I don't think, uh, you know, rookie cards don't go for that much they were pretty attainable for me but if you need some by all means make sure and do these they're pretty much three inning to six inning event games that you do different moments within them and then you get a rookie card and there is one breakout is uh in there as well now the main thing that you're going to find here within the honus wagner collection is you're going to have to buy some cards that is just pretty obvious but what you're going to want to do is first of all look at this all in all you'll see a guy like Johnny Bench. This card is quick sale value. Really what I was doing to get these is just going like 25 or 50 stubs over and people would sell these cards pretty quickly to me. They definitely went fast and what you would do as soon as you get that Johnny Bench, I'm actually just going to buy it just for uh, visualization so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So let's go back to hardware cards. Um, let's buy that Johnny Bench. I Like I said, put in a buy order. I'm just doing this for um, ease of access, quickly doing it. And what you're going to want to do once again is go into the collections, go to Honus Wagner. And this is an important strategy that some of you guys still might not know about is you collect the, you collect the Johnny Bench, you, you know, hit X and then collect that card and you can still quick sell them. This is something you couldn't do in years past, but I just bought that card for, you know, 25, 50 stubs over the quick sell value. And once I quick sell this Johnny Bench, I'm going to have gotten a pretty much free free card within there for 50 stubs so it's really easy really simple and then if you think about the rewards that you get on top of it i think it's 2500 stubs for each one of the uh for each one of these that you do towards the end i'm pretty sure that was the number um all those costs are really going to recoup for those that are basically quick sell value and then also keep in mind for honus wagner himself you do get 50,000 stubs so it really was more so 100 50,000 stubs that I would have spent, but the 50,000 that I get towards the end kind of reduces that price quite substantially. You know, that's a third of what you would really pay for it. And you really just want to do that for all of them. You know, go down the line, look at all of these, look at the rookie cards, and you're going to see these bronzes. You can buy them for like 40 stubs if you put on a buy order. Quick sell for bronze cards are 25 stubs, so you're really not going to have to pay that much for them. Uh, the silver quick sell value is 100, so maybe put in a buy order for 120 lose 20 stubs off every silver card you collect golds of course like i said just 25 50 you are going to have to sometimes bite the bullet or it's going to take you longer so i don't have all team affinities done i have the majority done at least to the two cards i don't have all of them up to three but sometimes i just wanted to get this done faster so i did 
um, you know, buy some of these more expensive, more rare flashback cards that you guys just saw me point to right there for the rookie cards. Some of them are going to be like this, and sometimes you're going to have to do it. I will tell you to keep in mind for a diamond card, look at this Liriano, for example, or uh, look at this Walter Johnson. This is a better example. So it might say 11,000 stubs, but remember, after the 5,000 quick sell that you're going to recoup from quick selling this diamond, he's really only 6,000 that you're going to lose at the end of the day. And that's something important to note. There's two routes that you can go throughout doing this. You can do it as quickly as possible, kind of like how I did it. And truth be told, I probably could have got this down below 100,000 if I would have been more apt to doing some of those moments in the wild card to get those rookie cards. If I would have went through and did more of those team affinities, which all in all is going to cost less than some of the cards that I bought. For example, the postseason cards, like I mentioned, I, you know, bought this Eddie Murray, which cost me like 10,000 stubs when I bought him and technically would have cost me 5,000 after the quick sell, but I think it was worth it because it was a little bit quicker. Postseason cards, I told you guys I would bring that up in specific how you guys can get those and how I would recommend you go about that. Um, some of these are in the affinities. I know they David Price, the Jack Morris are both in affinities for sure. Some of these cards, the uh, uh, pre-order cards, you know, the cards that come in the XP packs, those are great. They go for, you know, quick sale value. Always make sure to get those. This is from a collection. This was from a collection as well. It helps if you do have some of these collections done already for sure. That definitely is going to help out. Um, but really, you're going to find these cards in affinities is a great place to find them. I told you guys how to do those exchanges. And, you know, I only had to do one of these cards, which was above the uh, quick sell value, which was Eddie Murray at about 10,000 stubs. So a 5,000 stub loss and everybody else I got through affinities or these two cards came from collections. So that is a big thing for sure. Like I said, it definitely seemed daunting and it was a lot more expensive towards the beginning when this was first released. Car prices have gone down, especially in signature series. And that is one place you're not really going to be able to avoid paying more than quick sell value for some of them. A lot of these you're going to be able to get for 5,000 stubs. And I was putting buy orders for uh, 50 to 100 stubs over 5,000. And I was getting these really quickly to me so a signature card that cost me like a hundred stubs is a hell of a bargain for sure and you put it into the collection and once you collect all 60 you get 2500 stubs back so definitely really good and i think you also get five pack bundles within there as well i did a pack opening earlier today which that's how i had like 60 packs is all from doing the honus wagner collection um so i definitely recommend this like i said it's pr pretty much a hundred thousand stubs if you have around halfway you know if you have pretty much no cards, so probably cost you around 150,000 stubs all in all. But if you're, you know, been playing the game kind of like me, you know, have had it pretty much the entire year, you should have a good amount of cards already. It'll probably cost you around 100,000 stubs. And you're going to get what I think is the best shortstop in the game, one of the best cards in the game. This card is very versatile, can play the entire outfield, can play the uh, first base, third base shortstop, 96 speed, 91 fielding, 90 arm strength, pretty much maxed out contact, Literally maxed out vision, 90 power per side, 125 clutch, 99 bunting. This card is a lot of fun. He is going to be my new starting shortstop. And all of that can be yours for the small price of 100,000 stubs. I definitely think it's worth it. If you have not done it, go ahead and try it. It is not nearly as hard as you might have thought earlier. It is actually quite simple, and I highly recommend that you guys do it. Let me know down below in the comment section how close are you guys to Honus Wagner. And if you are going to do it, let me know as well. I really hope that you guys do great card that you're able to get for not that much if you think about some of the other shortstops in the game um it is actually quite crazy if you're to think about an ernie banks going for 73,000 stubs this honus wagner is just a little bit more than him so it really seems a lot less in the grand scheme of things but if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like down below hope you guys are great today